That was fighting for gay rights, mm -hmm. and people were killed. Nobody they were killed at Stonewall. Nobody was no, killed. Was oh, the pit stop. It's now become every fan's tradition to watch an episode of Drag Race and then head to YouTube to watch the pit stop coverage. We've seen how what started off as a low budget production recap series ended up growing into a platform where millions tune in every week to see who the new pit stop guest will be and what funny commentary they're able to deliver. So let's take a look at how the pit stop evolved the Drag Race franchise and stick around if you want to hear a channel update at the end of the video. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as we're almost at 100k follow me on twitter at green gay yt and follow my brand new instagram and tiktok at it's green gay now let's begin the amount of options that fans have now in terms of after shows podcasts or just random tiktok and twitter accounts that exist covering rupaul's drag race wasn't as lively as it is now obviously there was still countless online conversations about the series and there was platforms like k queen that helped expand the horizons of each queen's audience reach yet it seemed like for a while world of wonder was wasn't properly capitalizing off its success. Granted, they were at the beginning stages of building their YouTube channel that also helped grow their brand a lot more than people realize. But anyways, The Pit Stop is a series that really helped maximize the fan community that Drag Race was building. I mean, the very fact that it took them a total of eight years to finally do it is a sign that maybe they didn't expect it to take off as much as it would end up doing. On March 7th, 2016, the RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel created the first edition of The Pit Stop covering season eight that would be hosted by Kingsley. Now, Kingsley at the time was I guess somewhat of an influencer. I mean, I didn't know who he was until I started watching the pit stop, but the good thing was that you could tell he was an actual fan of the show. Unfortunately, while the show itself was well received by the fans, Kingsley as the host was not. To many, it just didn't fit the mold that the general audience would have liked the show to be. To top it off, a big part of the backlash from the fans was because they didn't know what about him made him credible enough to be even chosen as a host. What most people don't know is that Kingsley hosting the pit stop wasn't entirely out of left field. It's it seemed that the decision stemmed from him having hosted another recap series years prior for a different reality show competition, also known as Skin Wars, a series where RuPaul was one of the main judges. How dare you disgrace this competition with your bullshit! If you don't want to be here, then get out! In that recap series, Kingsley also had many different guests come in, some of whom were Rue girls like Vivian Panay. While I agree that the pit stop works a lot better with a drag queen leading the conversation, the first season was still a huge achievement. I mean, for the first time ever, we now had a somewhat well-produced weekly recap show, where we got different Rue girls giving their takes about what transpired on a given challenge, or who had gotten eliminated. In fact, Detox would be the first guest to ever sit down on that couch, setting the stage for a brand new online era of drag race. Later on that year, we had had All Stars 2 arrive to our screens, and the pit stop got its first big update, where Kingsley was let go and replaced with Raja, the winner of season 3, who would be the brand new narrator of the pit stop. This came at a good time since, even if you hadn't watched the original seasons, you were still acquainted with Raja thanks to her other YouTube series, Fashion Photo Review. What's funny is that you can really tell how low budget it is just by the lighting, the microphone quality, or even just the white wall that's sitting behind them. It was clear that World of Wonder was now seeing how the pit stop was really helpful, especially when it came to the social media algorithm. I mean, here you have tens of thousands of fans tuning in after the episode to discuss their opinions in the comment section. Plus, what better time to update it than for All Stars 2, that would go on to be the most beloved season by the fan base. In 2017, Raja would once again continue to host the pit stop for season 9, and it really felt exciting for the fan base that the after show had finally solidified itself as a reoccurring thing. The only downside, though, was that for some reason, for the first couple years of the series, the length of each episode was less than 10 minutes long sometimes even like five or six minutes. So it tended to be very short and concise. Yet later on, they'd start going for more longer form content that really helped them skyrocket, especially in the pandemic. In 2018, Alaska would end up being chosen to host the pit stop for All Stars 3. At this point, they're still incorporating the old reliable pink couches that I noticed they used for several years in a row. Like when the queens make jokes about how Drag Race producers are super cheap, they aren't joking. For season 10, Raja once again returns to host, bringing a brand new set of guest queens with her. At this point, the episodes ranged between 300 to 400,000 views, which is a stark difference to the new episodes that get released now. I also think the season 10 coverage of the pit stop is the only one where on the finale episode, the main host, which was Raja, was not able to film. So she was replaced with Bob the Drag Queen, who made her unofficial debut as host. Towards the end of 2018, the next Rue Girl to be inducted into the host of the pit stop Hall of Fame was none other than Trixie Mattel, who hosted it for the airing of All Stars 4. This came across more as a really 
really good marketing strategy that was mutually beneficial to Trixie and production. Because not only was Trixie the reigning all-star, but her YouTube series with Katya was now three years into its empire. So as long as Trixie's name was attached to something, it was gonna get a lot of views. This was also the point where you could tell that she was actually giving her unfiltered opinions about the competition, which would sort of change as the series got more popular. In 2019, we get Manila Luzon hosting season 11 of The Pit Stop. At this point, the episodes start to get a tiny bit longer. I mean, before this, they averaged at around 7 minutes long, but now they start being at least 10 minutes long. Part of me always wondered why we weren't getting longer formed content from the beginning. I mean, as cheap as the sets look, it was still a lot of effort that was being made into actually producing it. For the most part though, Manila would go on to do fine as host, but the real step up would happen the following season. The year 2020 is one that really shifted Drag Race. If you want to hear me get into more detail on why that is, be sure to check out this video I made a while back. Anyways, that year, Bob the Drag Queen officially joined the circle of the pit stop host by doing it for both season 12 and All Stars 5 back to back, becoming an instant sensation with the fan base. Especially since Bob reminded everybody that there's a reason why she was the blueprint for many queens when it came to branding yourself. Also, remember the pink chairs that were used since the birth of the pit stop? Well, they were finally replaced and upgraded with better furniture and a more detailed set. The premiere episode for season 12 episode 1's pit stop has over 2.1 million views, while just a year prior, the premiere of season 11 only has 800,000. A part of the jump in viewership is probably related to the COVID lockdown that had a lot more people going on the internet seeking content to consume. It's probably why later that year, Trixie Mattel is chosen to host the pit stop for Canada's Drag Race season 1, which was the first and last time that they ever did an official pit stop coverage for an international drag race season. I'm not sure why they no longer felt the need to continue. I mean, it got a positive reception and there's plenty of queens that would love to host their own season, but who knows? So then in 2021, Trixie Mattel hosts the pit stop for season 13 and All Star 6. This is another big jump into the production of the episode because yes, viewership was now in the millions, but each episode was now super long too, ranging from 25 minutes all the way to 40 minutes, depending on which one you choose. A stark contrast from season 12 where the longest ones you could find was at most between 15 to 17 minutes in length. This is also deep into the digital age where social distancing was enforced, yet the change into the Zoom style of pit stop wasn't that big of a deal to most people watching. When we get to 2022, Monet Exchange joins the host circle by doing the pit stop for season 14, which only solidified that she can literally get along with everyone because she was really good at invoking the best qualities out of each of the guest queens. It also came at a good moment since by the time she was hosting the season, she already had filmed the all winter season that was gonna air later that summer, bringing us to Bob the Drag Queen who made her big return to the pit stop by hosting it for All Star 7. This would go on to be the last time we saw Bob host the pit stop season, and I'm not sure if she will be returning anytime soon due to her schedule, but I'm glad that we at least got her to cover the all winter season if she wasn't going to be competing on it. Finally, we have Bianca Del Rio who in 2023 hosted season 15 and All Stars 8. Coincidentally, she probably wouldn't have even watched those seasons had it not been that she was getting paid for it, but at least Bianca's professionalism translates onto the screen. Cause sure, maybe she's not the number one fan of the show, but she does have a personality where you can listen to her talk for hours. Finally, Trixie is probably the most consistent of all the hosts since she ended up doing it for season 16, which is the most recently released season at this point in time. For All Stars 9, which is about to air, we are still not sure whether it will be a returning host or a brand new one. But which queen would you like to see cover it? The majority of the fan base, including Trixie herself, considers Bob the Drag Queen the ultimate pit stop host because she isn't shy of giving us hot takes, even if she's just reading one of the queens to filth. I mean, Bob has said on her podcast, Sibling Rivalry, that in most of the episodes, she's actually said a lot more things regarding certain looks or moments that she didn't like, but that the editors cut them so that it's a lot more balanced in terms of positive versus negative commentary. Basically, whoever it is that edits the pit stop must be the same person that edited All Star 7, where no matter what, critiques gravitate more towards the positive. What's interesting about the immense popularity of the pit stop is that there's a lot of queens that aren't as popular with the fans that view it as a really good platform to be able to use it as an opportunity to get themselves noticed by new viewers that may be left with a good impression of you, making them want to see you again. I mean, there's queens like Naomi Smalls that have become infamous for being a really good guest whenever she's invited on. Or how the most viewed Pit Stop episode of all time is from Season 13, Episode 5, hosted by Trixie Mattel with the guest being Violet Tchotchke, who went on to get super popular for her cutthroat opinions anytime she was on. That episode currently has over 5.3 million views, with the second most watched episode being Season 13, Episode 16, with Katya as the guest. The good thing about the Pit Stop being 
being so highly produced is that you get an extremely good summary of the episode. To top it off, many fans around the world have had a hard time finding the full episodes of the series, especially when it's just been released. So they tune into the pit stop to get the gist of what happened. And surprisingly, there's a small active part of the fan base that never even watches the full episodes and relies entirely on the pit stop to keep up with the show. So in a way, it can stand alone as its own entity in the Drag Race world. But which pit stop season was the first one you watched? And who's your favorite host? Sound off below. I want to take a moment to thank my patrons. In the Elite Pink Squad, we have Matthew Burns, Gay Uncle, Poppers Alberta, Sari Tish, Natasha DeLeon, Las Potitas, and our most recent Pink Squad member, Cool Gal Nan. Up next, we have the Green Squad with Azure, Cayman Rider Furry, Edgar Allan Pup, IJS, Not a Punch, But a Keek, Jack Beck, Aaron W, Captain Chaos, Bashir with the good beard, Galeria Gomez, Dea, D -D -D Dea, and Sarah G. If you'd like to see your name on the screen, you can support me on Patreon. The link will be in the description. Now, just to give you guys a little channel update, as you can probably tell from these past two months, I've been a lot more consistent with releasing content. I'm really happy with the videos I've been able to make, and there's been a big rush of inspiration that I've gotten in terms of video topics. That being said, I know that many of you prefer the super long videos, and I have a couple of them currently in the works. So in the meantime, I can still put out some of the shorter videos at around 10 minutes in length that still cover topics that most people are interested in. I also wanted to urge those of you that have specific topics you'd like me to cover to just always comment them below. Whenever I see anyone suggest something, even if it's super random, I'll add it to my list of brainstorming ideas. Finally, I've been considering starting a second channel. I'm not sure exactly what I would do in it. One of the ideas I had was to do weekly Drag Race reactions, where I give my thoughts on the most recent episode, whether it be from a main season, or an all-star season, but they wouldn't really have a lot of visuals, and instead it would be a couple screenshots from the episode. This way, those of you that still want content that isn't the high effort ones that I put on the main channel, you can instead go to the second channel. Or the other idea I had was to just make it a gaming channel, but let me know what you think below. I'll see you guys next time.